All right, this is a demonstration of a switching power supply. Um, please note, in no uncertain terms, this is not a practical circuit that you're going to put into a product. So don't try using it for that. This is merely to demonstrate how a switching power supply works. As I adjust, and it's a variable one in this case, as you watch the meter and I adjust the uh, voltage from a potentiometer. All right, what are we doing here? You saw the voltage again. This is an Arduino Nano. I'm, I've got a potentiometer tied into analog input 1, and I'm using it to control the duty cycle on the pulse width modulation out. That runs to this optocoupler. We can zoom in a bit, maybe you can see it better. All right. The output of the Arduino goes to an op optocoupler. This switches on and off an NPN transistor. Now what this does when the transistor is switched on during the high part of the duty cycle is energy is fed into this inductor and these two caps. And the more energy I feed in, of course, the higher the voltage is going to be. Back off a little bit. That is, the greater the duty cycle, the more the on time, the longer the transistor will be switched on, and energy is being fed into the tank. So I call it sort of a tank. But you're charging up capacitors through a coil, and when the duty cycle is turned off, the energy that was stored in the coil back through this high-speed Schottky diode is also added to the circuit. So if it's a relatively, <coughs> excuse me, light load like it is here, the uh, to maintain the voltage, um, the duty cycle is pretty low. The heavier your load, of course, the more you're going to have to keep the uh, transistor turned on to keep supplying energy to the circuit, and thus the wider the duty cycle. Let's, so you see the voltage on and off. Let me hook up real quickly this LED panel, and you can see how I control the brightness on the panel. All right, observe the light panel. And you can see the brightness varying on and off. It's a pretty bright room. But you can see those, those are three white LEDs in series on that panel. And I can control. And you see the voltage. And it's pretty well going to max out because the panel is going to set the output voltage now. And... As I try to pump more energy into the circuit, the voltage will not raise very much more, but it will be fed into the LED string. What is the use of a switching regulator? This has about an 18 volt input. By uh, using a switching regulator, um, this is much more efficient than a straight pass regulator like an LM317, which people use as a variable series pass regulator. If I was supplying the power of this right now, which is probably about an amp, I would guess, because that's what those LEDs take at that brightness, and you're using an LM317, it would be so hot it would burn your finger. Instead, this transistor is barely warm. So switching regulators are much more efficient than series pass regulators. The thing you got to be careful with, though, is sometimes you can get noise problems if it's not put together right with correct grounds and so forth. All right, I'll discuss the diagram to this circuit in more detail. Again... Arduino reads pot, pulse width modulation out, vary the duty cycle, that controls the amount of energy pumped into 
this capacitor inductor circuit and the diodes that you use in this, as you shall see in the schematic, have to be a high-speed Schottky diode. In a normal unit, you're going to use, such as an integrated circuit that's specifically for a switching power supply, <coughs> excuse me, the frequency is much higher, and so forth. Anyway, let's look at the schematic, and let's give you an idea of what you can do. And as I said, the transistor is barely warm. This illustrates our basic buck switching regulator circuit. This always produces a voltage less than the input voltage. This consists of, of a bipolar or MOSFET transistor switch a catch diode, and a circuit using an inductor capacitor setup that operates partly as a filter and partly as, I call it, sort of a tank circuit. It stores energy. By controlling the duty cycle that switches on and off my switching transistor, I pump energy into this circuit. During and the output voltage is based on the duty cycle, which is T on divided by T on plus T off, times the voltage in. So in this case, I was using an Arduino pulse width modulation output, which is fairly low frequency compared to the ones designed to actually do it, which runs into the kilohertz region. <coughs> Excuse me, but nonetheless. I pump in energy based on duty cycle, and it's stored in this um, coil-capacitor combination. What the catch diode does, and it's a high-speed Schottky diode, not a re rectifier diode, is during the off time of the pulse width modulation, the magnetic field that was produced during the on time collapses, and that energy, if you know anything about inductance, the reverse polarity is sent through this catch diode and also used to charge up the capacitor. This is why it's so efficient. This illustrates again how this works. That's period, basically on time divided by the period times the voltage peak gives you your output voltage. In this case, I was using the out pulse width modulation output on an Arduino, and I used a control connected to ADC0 in order to control the duty cycle. This is the complete circuit minus a capacitor that should have been here that I didn't draw in, as I used in the Arduino demonstration. Here is my potentiometer that controls my duty cycle. Here's my pulse width modulation out. I use an optocoupler to switch on and off a TIP41 NPN transistor, which pumps my energy into my diode inductor capacitor circuit. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you... I'm not using feedback or anything to control anything. It's just adjust it. Here's the voltage you get. If you wait a while as the components sort of warm up or whatever, it drifts slightly. And so what this is is to demonstrate how a switching regulator is supposed to work. This Don't run out and put this in a commercial product. This is a demo, not a finished product but it's easy to build and try out. You can try different forms of inductance and capacitance. Um, it's not that critical. In other videos, I'll be looking at actual switching regulators that work exactly the same way, but all of this stuff here, everything here, minus the catch diode, the inductor, and the output cap, and the input cap,
are all in a single integrated circuit. And that's this introduction to a tutorial with an Arduino pulse um, switching power supply. Thanks for watching. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks.